Majesties in white before them, Tommaso Franceschi and Estelle de la Mer. Tommaso's nobility. Your Majesties, if I may, Countess is old is not able to be here today. I have her work. If I may approach, please. I am Ms. Old de la Rene, the sister of the Laurel and Lady of the Rose. I will speak of Tommaso Francesco's nobility. A noble man is one who is good and unselfish. And Tommaso has shown how unselfish. All about you. Tommaso <laughs> didn't take that advice. He immediately started praising others. He contacted some peers of the organization of whom he felt were worthy of recognition. Then he started writing about them, <clears throat> posting about their skills and skills. His actions speak well of him. He didn't take that of the chivalry who will attest to Tommaso's courtesy and chivalry. Yes, Your Majesty, there is. I have that singular honor. May I make a general address? Please. I am Count William of Fairhaven, Knight of the Society, and I would speak for Tommaso. Let's talk about prowess. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> prowess is exceptional skill at doing a thing. It's not just about fighting, it's about anything. Tommaso is proud. He is proud at music. He is proud at many styles of music. He is proud at music theory. He is proud at explaining music theory. <laughs> Even to me! <laughs> the depth and breadth of his knowledge in music is both awesome and inspiring. He will be a boon to the kingdom as a peer. He also has one more particular skill I thought I might just mention. He is the most knowledgeable person I have ever met on the music of a rather obscure band. The bird name, the crows, the, the eagles. I, while many of you probably have no idea what I'm talking about, I know more about this obscure group. And when my lady and I were doing our performances in the Ethereum, we thought we might do the occasional song by this obscure group. And when we struggled, I called Tommaso, and he sorted us out. And uh, we received an award for doing those performances. And that was due in some part to the band field where you been in the field. You will be an outstanding Attest to Tommaso's service. And I gotta follow that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yes, Your Majesty. Oh, I can walk past your I am Richard Van Dutrecht, Master of the Order of the Pelican. I would speak for my friend Tommaso. Service comes in several forms active service, getting things done, seeing what needs to be done, and making it happen. Tommaso embodies this. Often you would go, boy, I didn't see that coming, but it worked. <laughs> also, service can be passive, inspiring you to be better. Tommaso and I would often journey on pilgrimage to a place where instruments are elderly. And we would speak often of music theory. And we would go to the place where there are instruments 
that would land both of us in divorce court. <laughs> And we would take these instruments, and he would pick one off the wall and say, here, try this. Uh, <laughs> and we would play, and we would be inspired. He inspires me to be a better musician, to be a better person. And I can't think of anyone more worthy to be elevated than this. Oh, Lord. He is my friend, and he is my friend. Latesta Tommaso's courage and honor. Your Majesties, I am not a master of defense, but today I have the honor and privilege of carrying the words of Baronet Cismena von Anzier, master of defense, if I may. Tommaso, rumor has it that you are smarter and handsomer since court at Penzik. <laughs> I would have loved to see your further transformation today. I am sure you are radiant. It is my deepest regret to be unable to speak in person for you and extol your pure like qualities, but I trust Maestro Lucia to bear my words and my love. The Book of the Courtier inspires many in our kingdom, and I believe the society was also so inspired when outlining the virtues of a peer. While Castiglione wrote the courtier must display sprezzatura, elegant nonchalance, the society calls for a peer to act courteously and nobly. A courtier must be an instructor, and a peer must share their knowledge and skill with others. A courtier must be versed in art and combat, and so must a peer. A courtier's highest aim is to support their prince, and a peer must respect the crown. I would speak to you of Tommaso's qualities, showing his attainment of both titles. While I have full confidence in stepping out on a rapier field, I feel I am terrified to step out into bardic performance. As a fledgling bard, I am conscious of every mistake and flaw. Tommaso is a model of grace in the face of error. He can start with the wrong things, quickly adjust, and continue beautifully. He does not miss a beat between mistake and perfection. Though his rezzatura in performing, through his rezzatura in performing, he has shown me that it is possible to recover and still deliver a stirring performance. His bearing of goodwill helped me feel welcome at Bardic Madness and in every encounter since. Tommaso will bring a smile to my face every time I see him. Tommaso can also flow effortlessly from instrumental and vocal performance to instructor mode. He can converse on any number of esoteric topics, from the evolution of stringed instruments to the politics of Dante Sperenza, a particular interest of mine. Tommaso can engage his audience in wanting to know more and dive further into his font of information. His passion and enthusiasm draw people into learning. His mastery in both storytelling and music is inspirational, and Tommaso willingly shares his skills online. Tommaso's pool of learners extends far past the boundaries of the midrange. My home barony of Sternfeld has an active group of rapier bards. Tommaso is proud of his identity as a rapier bard. Which is stronger, the sword or the pen? Well, we need not come to a definitive answer today. For Tommaso wields both. Uh, but he does not just exercise his rapier wit, he serves those communities as well, and so many others. Rapier Marshal, Bard Guard to Queenside, Premier Bardic Champion of Andalpre, all in a day's work for Tommaso. Finally, I would speak to Tommaso's respect and support of the crown. While he's done direct service to the crown and kingdom, as mentioned previously, Tommaso has been of particular service to the representatives of the crown, the present and former, baronesses and barons of Amalcrae. Tommaso has shown excellence in the arts and rapier combat, but as before, he goes above and beyond the barony. He lifts up the barony as a pillar of Amalcrae and shows diligence and inspiration. Tommaso, you know what you did to be worthy of such recognition. The barony and whole kingdom are better because of it. My crown, fellow citizens of this great kingdom, I say to you now, Tommaso is the perfect courtier and my peer. Tommaso welcomes the next stage in your path. You are a shining star and will continue to do great things for the society. of the populace who will attest to Tommaso's quality. May I speak, your majesty? Yes. I am Ilas Gornbringer, a 
Bumble Bar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tomatoes are a humble fruit. They are sweet. They are plump. They are juicy. They are lovely, adaptable, versatile, and surprisingly saucy. <laughs> <laughs> first time I saw Tommaso's name written down, I said, now who the heck is naming themselves Tomato? <laughs> and Tommaso has never let me forget that. But Tommaso is like a tomato. He is sweet. He is surprisingly humble, especially for a performer. Trust me on this one. <laughs> he has the most noble heart that I have encountered in ages. I have seen him turn from his performance and speak out to somebody who is new, who is confused, who is scared, and will teach them at a drop of a hat. There we go, theatrics. <laughs> and yet at the same time, he is humble enough to know when he still needs to learn. And he takes that with the same grace and spirit with which he teaches. I have never seen him raise his voice in anger, but I have often heard him raise his voice in song, in joy and laughter during the darkest parts of the pandemic where we could not meet in person, he tirelessly came to a ferial bardic after a ferial bardic, and he sang and he played and he taught and he nurtured others and was a shining, glorious light to the kingdom. And now, polished and all full of babies, go really well with tomatoes, by the way. <laughs> she is a gift, an absolute gift to the kingdom. And though I am but a humble bard, I cannot think of a more worthy person to recommend to your majesty for the order of the laurel, because being like Tommaso is what I aspire to. And I love them. to the wishes of your peers, your resolve to create best. The wreath has ever stood for excellence, so it will be given to you as the symbol of the mastery of your art. Therefore, will you, Tommaso, give us your word to continue to fulfill the requirements set forth for the governance of this order, as you will surely have to do. Will you increase your labors nobly, increase your talents as befit one of your ranks, seek to disseminate your talents and abilities throughout the society. You promise to train any dependents you may have likewise. Is there a hood? Wear this hood as a sign, outward sign of your station. Is there a medallion? Any. Medallion. Legacy of my line. Any. Radigan and Dulcinea, made by the hand, now cast into a popcorn. Now, okay. Take from our hands the symbol of nobility and token of our esteem. Wear it proudly that all may recognize your skills and your service as we have acknowledged it this day. This wreath is a 
symbol of your excellence. Now, swear your fealty to Shall never forget or fail to reward that which is given. Guilty with love, service with honor, and oath breaking with vengeance. Remembrance of oaths given and received. Remembrance of your lineage and obligations. Be thou, good peer of the realm. Rise, Maestro Tommaso. The realm meet your newest companion of the laurel. <laughs> Hear all now a voice of the dragon from Louis, king by right of arms, and sigh, we of war and song. Of these words, unto Maestro Tommaso Franceschi. In peerage let thee dwell, the laurel shall you be. The proof is fair, the very uke a red guitar shall be. No walls of marble black, twixt bards and music keep. Thy music, sweet melodious sounds, welcome friendly sleep. Thus, Vanished are our woes, and vanished are our cries. So bring your stories nigh, as bread doth rise, as bread doth rise. <laughs> Set by our hands this 23rd day of September, in our barony of Middle Marches, Anno Societatis 58. Your maestro Tommaso, newest companion of the world. Huzzah! 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 I love to be <laughs> 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 